All right, as you saw from Freestyle Dash, wherever you have Zell Launch, you want to launch Zell Launch, and that'll just boot Zell straight from a dashboard, no opening, turning on the machine with the eject button, and putting the disk in. You can just load it right from the dashboard, and I'm going to show you how to get Ubuntu 7.10 installed to the hard drive. You want to make sure the hard drive you're going to use is a spare or one that you don't need anything on it because it wipes the entire hard drive, it formats the whole thing and sets up your partitions. I just use a 20 gigabyte in a normal retail case. First thing you need to do is set up a terminal sorry set up a password for root and then log in as root to do that type in PA this is all Linux so if you know Linux you'll already know this or Unix PSSWD I'm sorry SU sudo sudo password then make your password and this is because there is no password set up and then you want to type in su to log in as the super user and then type in the password you just made and then it's going to ask you to make another new one type in your type in the old one first and then type in the new one it's all on screen instructions okay now we've got we're logged in as the super user so we can get started on this command is wget and I'll put a link in the in the YouTube description in case you can't uh, read this.
exactly what I typed in. I didn't have it wrong. Oh. <clears throat> Alright. I got it to download the script. And this script could all be done manually. Uh, it's just setting up the partitions and then telling it what you want it to run and where to get everything. But somebody was nice enough to make a script to do it all for you. You just type in dot slash ubuntu install dot sh and that's just the standard Linux thing. The dot slash is and you hit enter. What you're going for here is to run this install script. I don't know why it had I didn't have the proper permissions for it, but in this case I had to go in and manually change those permissions so that it would let me access the file. If you don't know how to do that, just look it up because I'm not explaining it. chmod. That was the command I used, A plus X. I'm not going to let this run for the entire beginning installation part here, but this will run for a little while and then it'll tell you to stop and get the uh, SDA bootloader disk, which actually has the kernel that you're going to run on it.
the advantage to running it this way through Zell launch is that you get full power uh, on all cores of the, the CPU of the 360. It's not slow like it was before. And with that, I believe I'm going to stop this video and then the next one will be what you do to start up the second part of it. Basically how to start the SDA bootloader disk and get the, the installation moving and then I'll make another one of how to boot it.